Good evening, everybody. Matrix here, and here's my watch list for March 11th. Okay, so let's take a look at the futures right now. Um, pretty interesting, the futures. I mean, um, on Friday after hours, uh, we see the future shot up, and then uh, today, I believe uh, Sunday, um, we get a little bit of gap down, round up, and drop. Okay, and then at 12 o'clock at midnight right here, um, basically we have a major gap up, okay? But uh, we are fading a little bit from this gap up. Now this gap up is right into the 2750 area here. Um, looking at this right now, I think uh, this little up move, it's kind of like a retracement of this pullback down here, okay? So I what I'm seeing is I, I don't think the 2750 will hold i still think uh, it will test again and then fade down uh, probably the late day happen i mean if on on the mental picture though i mean this is um more like uh me seeing the chart uh, kind of like reading into the future um it's kind of hard to explain how i'm able to uh see this move uh, to me it's just more of like an experience i mean if we're looking at the spy right now this is the 15 minute chart you see this major pull <clears throat> and then it actually took uh two days for the spy to retrace this pullback and then finally tested it and then made an other down move so here we have the one down move right and then we have a very very slow retrace okay and then here is another sharp down move on the SPY, right? And then now we are getting into this retrace mode right now, right? So if I were to plot this uptrend uh, back up into the future, it, to me, it looks like a retrace. And um, yes, the 275 here is a pretty key psychological whole number and a level, but I think it might get a little bit up and over to um, kind of, trick people into saying oh this pullback is over uh or, or this down drop is over and uh we are gonna go bullish again to me it looks like uh, this retrace move is still happening and uh it'll probably get stopped at it's stopped at, at its tracks here around the 276 area all right so um 276 maybe even back up I, i'm not sure if it can get us back high up as this key resistance area of 277. But to me in the future, it's gonna be looking like it's rounding up a little bit and retest here, and then it fails again, okay? So um, tomorrow, uh, since it does take the SPY a little bit longer to do the retrace on the up move here, we might get uh, an, a green day on the SPY, but it's gonna be expected to be very choppy, kinda like this, right? Um, and, uh, my advice is, uh, look for, wait, wait it out at the open, look for a range and then try to just play within a range. We're going to get a day, something like this, in my opinion. So kind of like a range days of like a short range. So kind of like something like this, a bounce up and down from here, but we'll see it happen around the 276, 275 area maybe even down to uh, the 274.5 area, all right? So I'm expecting a range day around like this, and then uh, probably by uh, day's end, uh, we'll get a sell-off again and then uh, make another down move. Okay, with that said, let's take a look at a few tickers I'll be looking at tomorrow. I mean, it's uh, a lot of these charts have the same kind of pattern going on right now. I mean, it's snapped with major support and it's now pulling back up a little bit as we see SQ here, even though SQ is not on my uh, on my watch list. But uh, I want to talk about Lulu. Lulu had um, about 1.2 relative volume. Let me take a look here on Finviz real quick. Lulu. I think Lulu, okay, relative volume is 1.19, okay? So volume-wise, it's not fantastic, but it did have higher volume than it did. Um, 
hold on. It did have higher volume than it did for the prior few days here, for the prior few weeks, right? Uh, what Lulu did was it basically kind of snapped its 147 key support area right here, as you can see. And uh, basically, that's where all the stop losses came. Uh, this is where all the buyers came in, right? They probably bought around here and uh, bought some more around here. And as you can see on the daily chart, we have kind of like a head and shoulders pattern here. And it just snapped the neckline. What I'm expecting of Lulu tomorrow, though, um, it's a little bit of pullback first or retracement back up. Uh, probably maybe I'm looking at uh, the 143.50s. Well, 143 first, key psychological whole number, it was the morning lows right here. And then... Uh, probably 143.50s around this area. Okay, so uh, gonna see how it reacts around this area. If it fails, then I'll short it from here. If it keeps going, then I'll keep waiting and it might get back as high up as this 144.50 to 145, which is a key psychological whole number, 145, very important area here. Uh, you can see it on the daily chart, uh, 145 right here. And it's a prior uh, resistance, okay, that has snapped, and also a key support area. Uh, looking at this right now on Lulu, I mean, here we have the morning kill candle that just snapped the 145, and it, it tested again, it couldn't get back up. So I, I think tomorrow, this is going to be around the highs for Lulu's, and uh, if it starts holding 143 you can definitely long it and and uh make your target up to the 145 however um let's see what happens in the pre-market right if it gets stuffed around here in the pre-market um we could get another down move and the target ultimately is the next area of support major support 140 right here now once again i want to reiterate that uh, we had massive volume coming in on Friday. So tomorrow, I don't actually expect the volume to be as much. So this stock uh, is most likely on a side watch for me. It won't be a main, main watch. But I do like this pattern very much so. We also have the 50 SMA on the daily chart at 143.60s. Okay, so I do expect a little pop and then drop. Okay, that's Lulu. Uh, next up, we have Roku. Roku, I like this daily chart a lot. Um, on Friday, we had a major gap down uh, in accordance with the market too, right? Uh, the market overall gap down as well. But overall, if you're looking at this Roku chart, this is a very bullish chart, okay? Um, and to me, it's basically a, a slight pullback uh, from its prior day's breakout, from this breakout candle here of this uh, of this 55 area and then we held the 65 and then we broke out again uh zooming back out a little bit in the prior three days we have a nice downtrend following here okay and we should be uh testing the 72 again uh, if 72 breaks out and starts holding uh, all these short sellers here during the retrace or the pullback period they are going to have to uh cover up and create a short squeeze for Lulu to make another up move and perhaps potentially test the 73 again. And then uh, from here, it might double top and just fail or it might uh, keep running. We don't know yet. So I'll be watching this downtrend line, um, looking at some support. Like I said, overall, uh, we have a very bullish chart, right? It dropped that much and still uh, was able to reclaim uh, the 70 uh, support area. So I'll be looking at 7050, which was the afternoon lows, as well as 70, the key psychological whole number for support, and uh, even give it as much as probably 6950. So coming in here at 6950, I want to plot this out for you so you can see. It's right there. It's the, basically the opening price of this uh, red candle. And you can see there's like a little flat support area here. So it popped right back up and over. It's also the low of uh, yesterday. So Thursday right here. So I do, this is my last line of defense for Roku to be a 
bullish chart in my uh, opinion. I do anticipate like a little, a little bit more of a pullback because it's a little bit extended over the 90 MA still on daily chart. So maybe a pop to 72, come down, and then we get this uh, nice uptrend wedge pattern again and eventually breaks out up and over. So uh, watch Roku. Uh, Got to be very patient. Definitely not trading this out the gates at the open. I want to watch uh, something like this and then uh, give me a pattern here, right? Um, I do anticipate a drop though. So a drop and hold 70.50, uh, my first support. I might start in here if it shows a double bottom or higher higher low from here at 70.50. Okay, <clears throat> Roku, main watch. Uh, we have Costco next. Costco is an earnings reaction winner, okay? Uh, as weak as the market was overall on Costco, it reclaimed, right? So we have this big up move, a nice pullback, and confirm that this is a bullish chart. And now we're just uh, doing a little bit of sideways consolidation. Now, I don't know if uh, Costco can break out of this 228 area. Definitely going to watch that. Right, I believe on Friday I traded Costco. I shorted it from 228. I brought it down to 227. So I was playing the 228, 227 range. Okay, um, gonna watch the highs as well at 228.70s. Okay, and then uh, we also have the next area of resistance here on the daily chart would be the 230s. Right, so if it it's trying to break out of the 228, but there is a hidden seller here. Uh, somebody's trying to smash this down at the 228. So got to be really careful about that. Um, if I'm going to long above this level, I want to make sure 228 holds. Um, otherwise, uh, you can actually pretty safely take a short here, uh, expecting the seller to uh, keep hammering it down. And then uh, just play within the range, right? Because overall, this is an overextended chart, but we do have very key support areas here especially here at the 225. I don't think it can come all the way back. We don't know yet, but uh, yeah, just watch these levels, right? Uh, Costco. Facebook is going to be on the main watch. As you can see, the stock uh, dumped and then it rallied pretty hard. We are right under the 170 level, which is a key psychological whole number. So I will definitely watch that. I'll even give it to as high as uh, 170.50. So let's mark that off real quick. 170.50. Okay. And if I zoom out here, 170.50 on Thursday, it was the afternoon high and this is where it failed, right? So um, maybe a dip, a hold of 169 which it reclaimed right a hold of 169 i can definitely long from here uh run it up to the 170 and then maybe break out to 17050 and then fail from here i'm expecting a range day like a sideways day so we have a pretty nice sideways range going on here watch this 170 area as well so facebook uh, netflix would be my final ticker. Netflix, a uh, very key area to watch here is the 350 area, key psychological whole number. The stock dumped on the downgrade, uh, but it has since reclaimed. We see a double bottom here and a higher low. So this chart looks pretty bullish. It really depends on whether it can break out over the 350. Uh, I also want to talk about this area here, aside from the 350. I want to talk about uh, Thursday's close here at uh, 3.52 and change. So around here's a 3.52. This is a key resistance area as well. Um, looking on a daily chart, I mean, on this red bar here. The low, uh, the closing price is 3.52.60s. So anywhere around this area, we'll give it up to the 3.72. 352.80s here. Um, anywhere around this area, uh, I do expect the stock to have trouble reclaiming. And uh, right now, we're sitting a little bit above, uh, a little bit under 350. So really depends on what it does pre-market, right? But we are coming into a lot of resistance. Um, overall, uh, 
Netflix, if you're looking at this overall chart, it's just going to chop around. Uh, it's definitely going to have trouble at 360 if it even gets there, but I highly doubt it tomorrow. Um, let's watch if it reclaims the 350 and hold and then ride it up for the long. And then from here, got to be very careful at around the 352, 80s area. And uh, maybe it can even get as high as 353. Let's see. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, maybe it can get as high as 353. Okay, so one more area of resistance right here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the watch list for the evening. Um, I do like a drop though, out the gates. We'll see. We'll see what happens in pre-market because nobody can actually tell what happens in pre-market right now. So, uh, Looking on the futures again, see it kind of held here. So it's definitely want to test and break out this 2750 area. So uh, we'll have to see. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye.